This is the M115. It's a full lace unit. So by, by saying full lace, there is no poly on here at all. Um, so it will be adhered completely through the lace onto my, onto my scalp. Um, I've chosen lace just from a comfort standpoint. It's, it does have some flexibility to it, but the biggest thing for me is the breathability. Um, I really do like that you can see through it and what happens is when you're wearing it, like this one, you can actually see scalp and it looks very natural. Um, but I'm sure you're saying, wow, how do you get from this to this? Well, it's actually pretty easy. Um, it's a little scary at first, but I'm here to help you through this as I'm trying to help myself through it. So this is actually, like I had mentioned, this is my first unit that I'm doing this all myself. Things you're gonna need to do to customize this unit. First thing is you're gonna have to have a template. I've created a template here. As you can see, I've marked what the front is, what the back is, and what you're doing is you're looking at your scalp, when I don't have this on, you're looking at the bald spot, basically. Um, my bio hair comes up to about here, and in, in the back, it also comes up to a spot around where my finger is. So what I've done, and it does help to have a friend help you with this, is we've created a template um, through saran wrap and um, scotch tape to create this dome that was mapped to my head. And we marked it out, we cut it out, but what you'll also need today, you'll need a pencil of sorts to mark the underside of the unit once we attach it to the template. And you definitely want something that is either washable or forgiving because the last thing you wanna do is have a very thick black line around there. You cut into it and that black line is right on your hairline and there is no getting rid of that. So this is why I chose this actually soft eyeliner pencil because it is easily washed if I do cut it too short, but it's also very soft. So when I, when I put it on the lace unit, I'll be able to very easily um, mark it. You'll need some push pins. Uh, preferably the T type. You will also need either shears, but I'm gonna choose to work with an X-Acto knife. Um, everything I've seen, it looks a lot cleaner to be able to cut the underside. Because the concern is, is when you're cutting it, you don't wanna cut the hair on the other side. So you really wanna be very gentle and cut it from the underside. Um, but you also, when you have that, make sure you have some spare blades around because you wanna make sure it's as sharp as possible. Um, so with that said and all the supplies, let me get ready and I'll come right back. All the hair pieces will come with a tag and typically a sticker in the back. That is your center line in the back of the hair. So first step is we want to get our exact back. So we're going to line this up here. We're going to put it on our nice little mannequin head here, get it all lined up so we're perfectly in the back. And then I'm going to take some pins over here and just gonna pin it on in a couple places. This will help hold it steady while we're doing these cuts. So I am first going to take some of the hair and awkwardly <laughs> pin it back. <laughs> Remember I'm saying this is my first time, so there's a lot of learning here, but um, okay. So, I'm gonna take my blade, I'm sure I'm still in the frame, and just very gently come in here. And cut right up to that hairline. Just up to about where the temple is. Get some of this excess hair up to over here. And also get another pin down here. Okay, let's 
move over to this side. Pin it down. I'm just gonna hold the hair up this time and come in very lightly, very gently, coming around that thin hairline. Because you wanna be careful not to cut the hair because then you're gonna wind up with some stubble up at the front and that's not gonna look really natural. So we wanna do our best to take out the lace with minimal collateral damage. Okay, so let's see where we are. I'm gonna take this off of here. Take off the pins, take off the pins. I'm gonna take off, sorry there, buddy. And lift this out, get out our last pin. And flip them over, get the old head out of the way. So you can see what we've done. See if you can see that. So I've left that kind of really natural hairline up front. All right, so I've gotten the front trimmed out. I have placed it on the head now, and I've pinned it down, um, showing where the front of the hairline is. Again, we want that back to be centered in there where that tag is, because that's where it will be uh, to make sure it's centered. So we're gonna take our template that we created, and because we created it on the right side, we're gonna flip it inside out in case there's a symmetry issue. So here we go. And then we're gonna place it, we're gonna align it up with the front of the actual hair piece. And we're gonna start fixing it on there. Let me get back in frame. Let me look at it, make sure we're centered. Nope, we're a little off centered. Okay, going back in. I do wanna pin it a couple times just to make sure it's secure because I don't want to have it moving around while I'm kind of drawing the outline. All right, so as you can see here, this is the amount of the lace that will be cut off all the way back here and on the sides, because really you want to have it so it's not attached to your bio hair, you want it attached to your scalp. I'm just going to slowly mark it out, and I'm, I am going to go just a little bit further than the actual line is this will give me a nice line to cut in from. So here we are, we're going around, just lightly marking it. So don't be so um, worried about getting it so exact because the length of the hair, once you take off the lace, the hair is still gonna go over it. So I wouldn't be so concerned about, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have some skin showing. It won't be visible. This is very forgiving, just because again, the hair is a lot longer and will come down over your scalp and into the bio hair area. So now that we have it all marked out, we can remove the template. So I'm gonna take my pins out, try to keep my workspace a little bit neat, which I am definitely not known for. Remove that. So now you can see this is our template. This is the area that is gonna be covering my scalp only. So remember what we did when we cut off the front of the lace. Now we have to go back in here and just very carefully cut along this line. Because again, we don't wanna press it too hard because we don't wanna cut all the hairs because we're gonna wind up with awkward stubble. So really the goal of this, let me see if I can do it from this side, is simply to Cut the lace only. It does cut very easily. I will say I am very pleased at how little pressure I have to place on this. Um, I was a little worried that I was gonna have to press hard and wind up cutting some of the hairs, but I feel like this is a nice, clean job. So now we have this, we're gonna take out the pins out the pin. Voila! This will get cut and styled next to um, to be placed on my head and we'll be good to go.